I'm having a little boy. The doctor knows that. I know that because uh, he's got a penis that is growing inside of my stomach right now, which is kind of trippy mm-hmm. to think about. Um, if I get onto this table and I start meowing like a cat, I don't suddenly become a biological cat because I present like a cat and wear a tail and say meow meow. That is probably means that I need to talk to a therapist. Not you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not that difficult. It doesn't need to be convoluted. It doesn't need to be controversial. Um, a woman, to answer your question, is an adult female. <laughs> Risk gay behavior. The video I'm about to watch is from the whatever podcast Candace, Candace Owens was on the show. And I know how some people feel about Candace Owens. Some people like her. Some people, I think Candace Owens is like the type of person that either people like her or they hate her. It's like not too many people are in between. I'm in between with her. But in this particular um, clip of the Whatever podcast, I do like what she had to say. Um, They posed a question to everyone that was on the show saying, hey, is it gay for a man to date a trans woman? And I feel like some of them was afraid to tell the truth. And it was one well, two of the young ladies in particular that just outright refused the truth. And you can tell that they knew that they were lying to themselves. Right. But I like how Candace Owens um, answered the question, how she handled the situation. Um, So I just wanted to jump into it. Um, After you watch the video, feel free to get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Even if um, you disagree with something I said or something you disagree with in the video, or if you agree um, leave a comment. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and, um, jump into this, uh, video for, um, and it always seems to spark quite a debate. So would you consider it to be gay for a man to date a trans woman? Yes. For a man to date a trans No, <laughs> personally. Would, would he, would you categorize him as straight? Yes. Um, probably. Yeah. Because what is it? Oh, sorry. This is Here, like too technical. I mean, I'm, I'm like I just. If you don't want to answer, that's like, fine. Go just, ahead. If you don't I want to answer, that's I'm, fine. Go ahead. I'm with Pixie. I don't think that that makes what me in, gay at all. Essie. I have no I clue. I prefer not to answer. Yeah. You, uh, okay. Um, question. Do, I mean, does your answer change based on the stage of transition? Like, what if this is before any transition has occurred at all, but the person has a, come to the realization that they are transgender? Well, I would assume that you have some level of like homosexual inclination if you're a man attracted to a person who looks and represents as a man, you know? Like if you're saying pre-transition, I would say like you're if you're attracted to those components of that person. But pre-transition, if you are transgender, are you a woman? Pre-transition, you're a woman who hasn't transitioned yet, so you're presenting as a male. What until what if you there transition. hasn't what what if there Hmm. Huh. She said, um, homosexual inclination because of the period of transition, right? But I'm assuming that you know this person was born male. And let's just be honest and let's be real. I mean... If they haven't gotten the bottom surgery, which I would, from what I've heard and what I've read, it's more that haven't gotten the bottom surgery um, versus who have gotten it. So wouldn't that homosexual inclination kick in when even though this person has breasts? has the butt and let's say passable wouldn't that inclination kick in when it's time for intimacy and a sword is pulled by both knights hmm It would have to be present, 
either way, no matter no matter the period of the transition, it it would have to be there. And it, the problem I have with the answers versus the questions is that there's nothing wrong with liking what you like. You have the freedom to do such. You shouldn't be denied rights. You, you shouldn't be denied your liberties. You shouldn't be um, beat up or punished or anything for it. It's, um, I don't get why you have to lie about what it is. If it's perfectly okay, you should be able to be honest about what it is. And you know you're not being honest when someone asks you the question and she's going to get very confused. Um, here, watch. been any bottom surgery. What do you mean? Like there's still... An appendage. So yeah. you're saying they transitioned everything, but their bottom. I, they're maybe they're in the process of transitioning. Let's say they're fine, everything, but the. Okay, I feel like I'm kind of confused here, so I'll just yeah. leave it in the in these it sentences. It seems really technical. Two people that have penis. Exactly. Now it's confused. She's backing out, but she's lying on purpose. She knows what the answer is, but. She's going to back out because it's like what I said. If the penis is there, if the sword is still there, then that inclination is still there. This is, I don't care how you feel on your inside. Uh -huh, let me rewind a little bit. I kind of cut Cat penises. Off. I don't care how. Oh. I'm kind of confused here, so I'll just yeah. leave it in, the, in these it sentences. It seems really technical. Two people that have penises. I don't care how you feel on your inside. I don't care if you dress and you wear a dress, you wear a wig. If you come together and you have sex, you're gay. And I think that is homosexual, right? So I know that people are trying. It's, it is convoluted. So I understand I why like, you're like, uh, they're trying to make it something thing. else. And hurt. it's in your head. And well, what if you feel like a woman? It's very simple. If you are a man and you are having sex with a man, irrespective of how you feel or whether or not you've mutilated your body or you've chopped something off, it doesn't make you not a man. You are your man. And two men coming together to have sex with their appendages intact, obviously, is homosexual sex. So yeah, I think um, you know it's different if you're presenting completely different because at that point, like you know, you have men who say that they've been trapped or whatever, and I'm like, that person is straight. They literally slept with someone who was, like, presenting as a woman, looked like a woman. They couldn't tell, like, I wouldn't consider that gay. Um, but at the end of the day, like, on... So now we're going with that, that lie. These dudes know. Okay? They know. Poor thing. She been lied to. Honestly, I don't really care about people's sexual orientation that much. I feel like this is like kind of a culture war issue. And for some people, culture war issues are important, but I'd rather talk like policy about something. I don't know if that makes me boring here, but. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm totally following, but. She wanna guess, change so the subject. <laughs> what is a woman? <laughs> I've answered this question before on the podcast. Here, I can start with Azalia. Did I say your name or I'm sorry? No, Azalea. you never do, but it's okay. It, okay, <laughs> go ahead. So what is a woman? I mean, I think that gender is a spectrum. I obviously know that you do not agree with me, and a lot of the conservative people here won't agree with me, but I guess it's just how you present and how you feel. I mean, I don't really, again, I don't like to structure things that way and, like, make it so black and white. I think that people should represent themselves and be what they want to be, and it's nobody else's business, to be honest. A female is somebody that has a vagina. That's what it says in the book, right? <laughs> Okay. Which cool. book? The Bible? The health ed book. Oh, the health ed book. But, okay. Is a okay. No, but what Gender is and sex are two <laughs> different things. So. Okay. You answered the question correctly, okay. so I don't want you to feel like you didn't even answer it wrong. What, what is a woman? A woman is somebody. I'm like, somebody, this is so complex. I'm okay. It doesn't need to be. Okay. Go ahead. It doesn't a need woman to be. is somebody who presents or acts as the social construct of women. And the reason why I don't say biology is because whenever we look at biology, the truth is, before coming to this room, I did not look at anybody's genitalia here. I did not look at any of your chromosomes. I just assumed you guys were women because of how you dress and act. So I think that maps on more to our reality of how we use the word woman. Essie. This is so controversial. Um, I'm very, like, 
a man and a woman. Man has a penis. Woman has a vagina. Biologically, man and a woman. I agree. I think that it's like whatever biologically and anom- yeah, anatomically what you've got going on. Um, I feel like what brings out my feminine qualities the most is the thought of being a mother in the future. So I guess I associate um, being a woman with being a mother in all aspects of that. Um, oh, okay. That's my answer. Uh, your gender is decided before you're born, when you're born, and for the rest of your life. I'm having a little boy. The doctor knows that. I know that because uh, he's got a penis that is growing inside of my stomach right now, which is kind of trippy mm-hmm. to think about. Um, if I get onto this table and I start meowing like a cat, I don't suddenly become a biological cat because I present like a cat and wear a tail and say meow meow. That is probably means that I need to talk to a therapist. Not you. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not that difficult. It doesn't need to be convoluted. It doesn't need to be controversial. Um, a woman, to answer your question, is an adult female. <laughs> adult human female. It is an adult mm. human female, and that is the answer to something that it's just shocking to me that every person knew, every child, every, and then within just a couple of cultural years, everyone is so confused about, you know, water being a liquid. <laughs> it's very, like, again, I'm fascinated by it, so I love to talk to people that are confused by that. But if you were born with a vagina, you are a female. And if you were born with a penis, you are a male. And if you had some rare thing happen, which hardly ever happens, but people will always talk about it, where you're born with both, both parts, you might be intersex, hermaphrodite. hermaphrodite uh, but generally speaking, I think we know that that means that something genetically went wrong. and <laughs> We are born either male or female. Pixie, do you object to her definition? Yeah, because I think um, I understand where you're coming from, but I think when it comes to day-to-day use of words, they have to map onto our reality somewhat. And the truth is, like, as I didn't check anyone's like biology or chromosomes before coming here, you can say it's an act, but the truth is that's it's an act that everybody plays into. Everybody looks at how a person looks like and says, oh, they're a woman or male based off of that. And you can say, oh, that person is putting on a disguise that doesn't change their real gender or anything. But everybody acts that way. So to me, it's like, no, like the word that maps or the definition that maps most onto reality, onto our day-to-day usage is appearance-based. How can anybody tolerate her? Why does she keep saying that? If I walk into a room and I thought somebody was a woman or I thought somebody was a man, it wouldn't matter. That, That doesn't make make them what I think they are, right? I can look at these two women, that's the Candace Owens, and I could assume that they're Asian. Doesn't make them Asian. And I could assume maybe they speak Mandarin. Maybe they know Kung Fu, but that wouldn't be reality if it's not true. She's silly. Like, uh, well, we should base what a woman is based off of when somebody walked into a room what they assumed somebody was what are you talking about so you just walk in the room right so you want you a guy that owns his own business and so you walk into a room you saw a guy with a wearing a suit and you just assumed he was a CEO and you started dating him and then after you date him you find out he's not a CEO, and so you try to, you know, and which I know you can be a CEO and not own the own a company, but I'm just saying for the purpose of this example, right? He's CEO, and he owns the company, right? And then you find out later on that he's not the CEO and he doesn't own the company. He just likes to wear suits. He's the um, janitor, and then you you try to break up with him and. He goes, wait, you can't break up with me. I'm, I'm, I'm the CEO. I'm the owner of the company. And you go, no, you're not. And he's like, well, in all reality, I am. Because when you walked in the room and you saw me, you saw me as a CEO. You saw me as the owner of the company. And you must now adopt that reality. What she's saying is stupid. And she's just saying it. She's going to sit there and lie. She knows what she's saying is wrong. And she's just, she's going to, and and those are the people that are the problem in this world. People that just blatantly lie for whatever reason.
does have to uh, take off here. Do you have a final response to her? Yeah, I just, you if you grow an afro and wear a wig and put, you know, a lot of black makeup on, you're not a black woman, you know. <laughs> so your appearance doesn't actually mean anything. You are, a, you're, you're not black. Um, and the same way that I'm not white. So how we, uh, if we can trick someone, you might be able to trick me. I think Roy Richard Dolezal did a really good job tricking people into believing that she was black for a long time. Uh, by darkening her skin, getting super tan and wearing fake wigs, but she wasn't actually a black woman. So how you feel on the inside and how you present, you might be able to trick people, but that makes you a liar, not a woman. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say in closing. Yeah. <laughs> if you- and I think that's all that really matters. I don't think we need to hear um, anything else. I would keep it simple. Don't try to um, debate with liars. I would just keep it with DNA. Look, if you um, were to pass away, and we buried you in an unmarked grave with no information at all. And later on, these scientists dug your body up a thousand years from now, right? And they dug your body up and your bones were there. And they did a test on it, right? What would they say you were? Would they say this is the skeletal remains of a man or would they say this is the skeletal remains of a woman and whatever the answer that is for you that's what you are risky out risky behavior